hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog so today i am getting my hair done uh it is time it's only been two weeks uh you guys ask me how often do i get my hair done i get it done every two weeks but it feels like it's been an eternity so yeah i've just been doing things around the house folding laundry things like that um getting some milk for pj I'm gonna feed him before I go as well so that he can be nice and full, but I also um, like to leave milk too. I'm gonna do that. Uh, just finished importing my footage from my what I eat in a day, so I'm gonna edit that when I get back home. So that'll be up for you guys before this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, I really like doing what I eat in the days and I like watching them too. So um, if you guys want me to continue to do those types of videos, I can certainly do that for you. I'm not sure what we're doing the rest of the day or the weekend, but number one priority today is getting this, this hair done. Like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look terrible pull it back but you know I'm just over it I'm just ready for my hair to be down again so yeah I just wanted to come in and say hello to you all I'm about to go get my hair done I may or may not bring you guys with me I don't know we'll see if I don't bring you in the salon with me I'll catch you when I get back home so all right bye Alright everyone, so I am back home now, got my hair done, my edges, can y'all see, they coming, coming in nicely, so love that, and also on this side, they're coming in really good over there too, so overall, my hair is thriving postpartum, just a little update for you guys, I don't know what we're doing for dinner, tonight but just gonna chill out um let me see what else oh last night we watched the ready to love reunion y'all hot mess hot mess if you all watched ready to love you know what i'm talking about it was a circus like it was crazy uh but anyway we watched that last night and there's some movie that PK wants me to watch. I can't remember the name of it. So we may do that later tonight too. But yeah, it's just a low key weekend here at home. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go now and then I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. All right, bye. Hey everyone. So it is the next day. And I've pretty much spent most of the morning kind of like purging my skincare and makeup old products that I need to like throw in the trash and I thought I would share with you all some of my favorite products that I've been loving uh, specifically in 2021 so I kind of brought everything out so that I could share with you all just because I get a lot of questions about my skincare routine which is super super simple uh, I don't use a lot of skincare products I don't have problematic skin so I tend to not buy a lot of skincare products as far as like treatments and things like that so um, I do keep my skincare very simple and that is just what works for me it's kind of my if it's not broke don't fix it uh, system <laughs> but anyway I'll share with you all a few things that I got also I'm probably gonna head out after that and run to the grocery store to get more sable fish if you guys saw my what I eat in a day video that I posted a couple days ago 
you'll see that I made that. Uh, I made it for the first time. PK makes it all the time. But I'm going to pick up some more um, to make for dinner tonight. Uh, this time, I think I'm going to make it like a miso version. If you ever had um, Nobu's uh, miso cod, it's so good. So I'm going to try to recreate that with the sable fish. I need to see if uh, Whole Foods has like a miso sauce. But yeah, I'm going to make that for dinner tonight. Also... As I was purging, I saw that I needed to replenish some things. So I may do a little order, curbs at order at Nordstrom. I may huh, hmm, grab a new drink that I want to try. Yeah. My friend, Kiana, shared with me in my uh, vlog where I talked about my chai latte coffee. She mentioned a uh, maple brown sugar latte that she gets from Nordstrom. I haven't had a coffee from the Nordstrom like cafe in forever. So maybe we'll try that out today. Uh, I trust her recommendation. She's a coffee queen as well. Um, she also has a channel here. She's been uploading videos on her YouTube channel. So I will leave her info below. Go show her some love. She is a fabulous mama. She's a boy mom. Uh, three beautiful boys. So yeah, go show her some love and tell her I sent you guys. But yeah, that's what's on the agenda for today. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick my beauty and skincare favorites. All right, guys. So really quick, I just want to go through and show you guys some of the products that I have absolutely loved um, in 2021. So the first product should be no surprise. It is the Youth to the People facial cleanser that I absolutely love. As you can see, I am about out of this one so i'm gonna have to replenish my bottle here i did recently pick up one and um left it in chicago so that i'll have it there so i don't have to keep traveling with this one so this one is about gone um so i'm gonna definitely re-up on this but it's just the perfect cleanser it doesn't strip your skin it doesn't have any like harsh chemicals it's just a really nice cleanser and i highly recommend it i've raved about this cleanser for many years and i just absolutely love it so definitely want to make that number one on my list favorite drugstore toner by far is by Thayer's. i prefer the little spray bottle one it's just easier just to mist your face but they do also have it in the pour bottle i have that one as well but i personally love the Thayer's spray bottle. I love them all. This is the rose petal. I love the cucumber. I love the original. It's just great and it's a great price point. And yeah, so if you're looking for an affordable uh, toner for your face, this is a really good one. Um, on the pricier end, as far as toners, the Chanel, my absolute favorite. I tend to use this one at night because it's more luxurious and I kind of make it part of my like self-care routine. Um, but as you can see, it's about gone. It smells amazing. I love it. It's a total splurge. It's so unnecessary. But yeah, if you want to add a little bit of luxury to your skincare routine, I highly recommend this one. It is so good. And then um, the Ren has also been a favorite of mine. I tend to just use this one at night as part of like my skincare routine, like as a little treatment. It's just a really nice tonic lotion for your skin like a toner yeah i've really been enjoying the ran so this comes highly highly recommended yeah, this is amazing so for moisturizers i've been loving the tasha the dewy skin cream this one i've been using a lot more lately this is kind of like my winter moisturizer so i use this day and night just because it's really thick and rich um but it's so nice it does give your skin a nice dewy look also comes with this cute little spatula it's adorable so yeah i'm not quite ready to re-up on this one i still have quite a bit left but this one is a goodie like I highly recommend this one. It came highly recommended to me. I tried it out and I have not looked back. It's so good. But again, this is my fall winter moisturizer. 
Um, as far as the newest moisturizer that I've been using, I've been loving this moisturizer by Drunk Elephant. I recently picked this up during the uh, Sephora sale and I've been loving it. Um, this is kind of like my moisturizer that I use before I work out or go to the gym just because I don't want to use a thicker cream on my face because I'm going to be sweating and everything. So I just will put this on after I cleanse my skin in the morning before I do my workout and I just love it. I love that it has this little... Uh, I hate to do this because I'm going to waste it, but I have to show you guys the demonstration. You just push down and the lotion comes up like that. So really, really nice. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to use that because I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to set that to the side. Now, as far as makeup, there's a little bit of skincare in here too. Oh, also, I want to show you guys this. This has also been one of my favorites. I use this a ton in the summer and spring. It's the Garnier uh, Replumping Serum. It's a three-in-one. So it's a serum, a facial cream, and a SPF all-in-one. This stuff is amazing. I love it so, so much. Highly recommend this. Again, you can use it all year round, to be honest. In the spring and summer, I really, really like use this up like it's this is bottle is gone i do have another one if you're looking for a three-in-one product if you don't want to have like a serum a moisturizer and a, a facial cream and you just want something all in one this is the way to go this is great for travel as well so yeah definitely check out the garnier uh replumping serum cream they have three different ones and this one is my favorite Something else I've been loving is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This was a limited edition one, so I don't know if they still have it, but I tend to use this um, after I do my makeup, but you can use this you know as a toner, as a daily toner. Um, I also like to like spray my uh, makeup brush with it before I apply my tinted moisturizer, which I'll show you guys in here. But this has been a favorite of mine for many, many years. This is my first time trying this version, but I absolutely love their sprays and I will continue to buy them. As you can see, this one is about out. As far as eye creams, I've been loving the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I use this every single night just so they could absorb into my skin overnight while I'm sleeping. So yeah, this came recommended to me um, by a few of you guys. So thank you. Um, I've really been enjoying it. Last of the skincare, but I have this Bioessence Squalene Renewal Mask. I tend to do this once a week as part of like a little self-care moment this is a great mask i love it it's not drying um, on my skin it's very gentle um, even though it is a facial uh exfoliant this has been a great mask i love it also been loving the squalen vitamin c dark spot serum i don't tend to use this a lot but the few times that I've had to use it, it has been great. I've noticed that the dark spots on my skin have faded. So yeah, this definitely is a product that comes highly recommended. It has rave reviews and I see why. It's a really, really great product. So if you're someone that suffers from like dark spots, this is a great serum for that. So highly recommend this. So as far as makeup, I have to mention the Fenty Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Um, if you guys have been uh, watching me for a while, you know that I swear by the NARS uh, Tinted Moisturizer, but this has basically replaced that. Um, I didn't use the NARS Tinted Moisturizer in 2021 at all. I use this all year it's so nice i love it i like i hate that i love it because i absolutely love the nars but this is just so good so i get the shade 18 and this is the newest bottle i picked up during the sephora sale i'm not a, a full coverage makeup girl i kind of like for my skin to like show through so that's why i prefer tinted moisturizers it's so good i love it and yeah, I will continue to repurchase this one. Next up is my favorite concealer. I don't think I'll ever use another concealer. The NARS Creamy Concealer is my all-time favorite. Only concealer I've ever used, so I really don't have anything to compare it to, but I love it. I am in the shade Caramel Medium Dark 2. 
And yeah, can't say enough good things about this. I've shared it several times in my videos, get ready with me, favorites, you name it, this is a staple. I recently picked up this little NARS blush palette and I have really been loving it. I've used all of the colors. Here are the shades and I love them all and I wear them all. So this little blush uh, palette has been great. I love it. I travel with it. Every, every time I do my makeup, I use one of these colors. So highly recommend this. Next up is the Laura Mercier setting powder. This is the translucent. Love this. This is a staple in my makeup routine. I probably won't use another one. I don't know. It's just it's just so good. I feel like why change? You know, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So, yeah, I will continue to repurchase this. Love this product, it's amazing. This is another new product that I tried out in 2021, the Idol Lash by Lancome. Now, if you guys know anything about me, you know that I am totally a Chanel mascara girl, but this has been a game changer. I absolutely love it. And as much as I love my Chanel mascara, I may be converting to the Lancome because it's just so good and I need to buy another one so I will definitely be picking up another one of these for sure it's so good all right we have PJ here with us so if you hear little baby noises several of you had asked me for an update on this mascara I love it 10 out of 10 highly recommend um, I still love the Chanel but this this has been a game changer so highly recommend this one um, next up is the uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. I love this. I don't do much with my brows, but I like that this has like the spoolie on one end. But yeah, this is the only thing I use on my brows. I just kind of fill them in just a little bit. So yeah, but I like this brow pencil. So highly recommend this. And then for lip products, my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask has been my go-to. As you can see, this one is out, but I do have another one. So that just shows you how much I use it every single day. Next up is my Dior Lip Glow. This is another favorite. As you can see, it is gone. I've been using a Q-tip just to get this last little bit out of here, but I am going to go pick up one today, a new one today, because that's just, yeah, we can't be doing that. But I love this Dior Glow. I just do the pink, and it's just so good. This is a great everyday um, lip balm that gives you a little bit of color. It's like your lips, but better. So yeah, highly recommend this. I've been using these for years. I probably buy about five of these a year, so highly recommend. My NARS Lip Oil, this is another favorite I've raved about here on my channel. Absolutely love this. This one is in the shade Orgasm, and it's about gone as well, as you guys can see. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this, but I may, cause I, I do love it. I love it so much. It's just, it's just a great little lip oil. I'm actually wearing it today. So yeah, highly recommend this. And last but certainly not least, I have to mention my fave, 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 fave lip gloss by She Beauty in the shade Chanel. Absolutely love this lip gloss. This is a black owned brand and she is killing it with the lippies. I will leave her information linked below because they will be doing a restock, I believe for Valentine's Day. And I think she's gonna have some new shades. So definitely check out She Beauty for all of your beauty products if you wanna support black woman owned business. Again, the shade that I absolutely love is Chanel. And 
again, I could not do this without sharing this product because I have absolutely loved it. So definitely check them out. So yeah, guys, those are the products that I have absolutely loved in 2021. As you can see, most of them are about gone. So I need to re-up on a few things. So now I'm gonna put all of this stuff away and we're gonna head out and run our errands for the day. So in the car now, I'm just sitting here in the garage. And we are going to do a grocery pickup and then we're gonna go to Nordstrom uh, and pick up a few things. And then I'm gonna try the coffee that I told you guys about. So that's what we're up to right now. Uh, I need to go by the post office, the bank, and things like that, but those aren't interesting stops. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have quite a few little errands that I need to run. So, this really good. I got it with oat milk. Yeah, the maple brown sugar latte from Nordstrom is actually really good. Like, really good. So, this was a good one. Highly recommend. Uh, what else? I did get my Dior Addict Lip Glow in the shade Pink. It looks like they changed the packaging on this too. So, got this. Actually, sitting here in um, Home Goods parking lot because I'm about to run in there real quick and look for some uh, bars like counter stools um, not for here for um, our place in Chicago because we have like this really large like large island um, and it could probably hold four stools but I think we're only gonna do three. And I was watching um, Sharika B's vlog earlier, and she shared that she got her bar stools from Home Goods. And I was like, oh, let me um, check Home Goods because I've gotten bar stools from Home Goods before, and I recently threw them out because Seth then destroyed them uh, because they were fabric. So I want to try to find some that are not fabric if possible but yeah I want to do that and that's pretty much all I'm looking for because I'm not buying any more like decor items for here uh, I'm really focusing on 
everything on um, Chicago and I'm not exactly sure what vibe we're going with there right now it's kind of just like neutral right now uh, so I've been spending a lot of time on Pinterest just trying to like get some decor ideas because the vibe there is totally different than the vibe here so I want to kind of find something to match the you know city high-rise vibe that we got going there So that was a unsuccessful trip to Home Goods. Uh, they only had those two <laughs> bar stools that I showed you guys, which were okay. It's just not what we're looking for. Yeah, that that's not the vibe we're going for. And I almost feel like I'm gonna have to go to like a Home Goods in Chicago. You know, it's almost like you have to be in that city to get the vibe that you're looking for. And this, this is not it. <laughs> like, there's there's no vibe here at all. So, I should have known better. And we actually did find a set that we liked at, a set of stools that we liked at, where were we? Where were we? Room and board. So yeah, if I don't end up finding any at like Home Goods, then we'll just get those. So yeah, guys, I am back home now. I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.